Okay, I am on page 13-05. Um, step four, I'm attaching the, um, what are they? The W823-1s and 823-AP aileron bell crank brackets. So that's what I'm doing. Have fun watching, not a whole lot. Um, the one thing I have realized working with planes is everything is quarter inch sockets which is kind of odd because they're real tiny. Um, but, um, and there's only really a few different um, sizes you need. So quarter, three eighths, and seven sixteenths are what I found are the ones I needed. Um, I'm sure at some point I will need another one, but for right now, pretty much all the way through the wings, that's all I've needed is those three sizes. Um, so if there's more, I'll let you guys know, but as of right now, those are the only three sizes. So here we go. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to video number 22. And this is the right wing that I'm working on, on the spar. Um, and I, the sockets, I, don't, I haven't seen any bigger ones. So I am not sure if there are bigger ones. I'm sure there could be. But as of right now, there is only those three sizes that I have used. So just FYI. Okay. How's it done? So you might be asking, how do you know if you had that on there right? Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the instructions again. So the instructions have for the right wing, the lower, near the lower flange, has the bigger one. Right? These bolts go through there into the lower section. So I'll show you here. So lower section comes through the big one with the two bolts the upper bolts go through that one and the lower one is near my lower flange here that has my nut plates on it and if you can see <coughs> excuse me nut plates right there lower flange bolted down there you go Okay, so I took care of a lot of stuff not on camera, like um, priming the pieces and scuffing them up and fluting the ribs, all of that stuff. You guys have seen it a million times, so I'm not even going to do it anymore on camera. Um, but now I am working on page... Clico the ribs to the spar. It's step four on page 1403. Um, and, I'm and I'm dimpling them at the same time because I didn't go through and dimple the bottom pieces and that is step, step three on page 1402. So I'm doing that kind of at the same time. Um, I did paint all of the flat brackets and stuff like that too. I primed them I should say, I didn't paint them. Um, so they're ready to go and get attached which is in a page or two or three in the instructions. So just so you know. And make sure that you read like the entire section of instructions because there are things that you'll need to know that are further on that you'll use, you know, earlier in the process. So make sure you look at the entire section of the instructions. Okay, and I do know why, I figured out why, and I'm not sure if I shared this before, but why we are only dimpling the bottom of the rib, we are not dimpling the top of the rib at this time. And the reason why is because the first four ribs don't get dimpled at all because they have that extra piece of aluminum um, skin um, where you stand. Um, and the, so those don't get um, dimpled at all. They're countersunk on the skin itself. So um, because you're putting these in a certain order, at the beginning they just have numbers. So all of these just have a bunch of numbers. These are the 10 or 1011 something or others. Um, and they can go in pretty much any order the 1011s can. So just uh, be aware that don't go dimpling all of the tops of the ribs, you wanna make sure only the tops of the ribs of the ones that need dimpled get dimpled. So, helpful little tip there. Otherwise you're gonna be buying new ribs. <laughs> 
So yeah, the instructions are pretty clear um, that, and they say dimple the bottom of the rib and they say don't dimple the tops of the ribs. And that's why, at least that's I'm a, why I'm assuming why that is. Um, and it's sound advice because you don't wanna dimple those first four ribs because you'll have to countersink them. Um, and then you see it, uh, the little stand I have the right wing on, it's standing up vertical now instead of laying down flat. Um, just as another helpful tip, um, I, when I did go to dimple the tops, I left it in that configuration and it was much easier than when it was laying down. So to make your life easy, that's the simplest advice I can give. And I'm making sure to start with the tab. That tab is on the bottom. So I know I'm dimpling the bottom. And I do have to say um, how Vans organized everything. It's it's very well put together and you kind of, you can't really get confused. They, they have simple little, oh, the tab's on the bottom because there isn't a tab on the top. And they say, hey, look to where the tab is because that's the bottom and that's where you want to dimple. So it is not complicated. It is not rocket science. Even though you are building a plane, it's not rocket science. It's actually pretty easy. So pretty awesome too. So one of the nice things, so when you have a million dimples to do, um, it can be pretty monotonous and then your brain starts to wander and you can make some dumb mistakes and put some extra holes and stuff. Don't ask me how I know that. Um, so it is kind of nice <coughs> dimpling, you know, 14 different ribs. I could have set and dimpled all the bottoms of these, but when you do it one at a time and then place them in the um, spar, I only have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22 dimples to worry about each time. It's a lot easier to stay focused. You don't kind of get in, in a groove and then forget what you're doing and mess it up. So if you have tendency like I do to think about other things while you're doing stuff, especially if it's a very you know, repetitive process, you know, break the things up and do one at a time or you know, do other things in between. It helps me anyway, so maybe it'll help you. Yeah, I believe that is very sound advice. Um, it's, you know, if you're like me, I get busy doing something and I get kind of get on autopilot and then all of a sudden I make a mistake and I'm, then I start kicking myself because I'm like, oh man, you idiot, you, you got distracted or whatever. So highly recommend break stuff up, take breaks, do things in smaller increments if you need to. It's all going to be waiting for you. So it's not like you're, you know, it's a race or anything. So just take your time um, and Try not to make mistakes because when you make mistakes building an airplane, they're expensive most of the time. But while it is going through me um, setting up those ribs in that spar, I had a joke for you. And it is a chemistry joke. My daughter likes chemistry, so I have a chemistry joke for you. So I was going to tell a sodium joke. Then I thought, nah. Nah, N A, <laughs> the chemical symbol for sodium. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just fantastic. Oh, so one more. Ready? Why do sweaters tend to hang out together? Yeah, they're pretty close knit. <laughs> oh, I love that joke. They're so funny. Oh, okay. So back to doing these. Um, you can see that I have them in order. I, that is very, very important when you're lining things up and ribs have a particular order they're supposed to be in. Make sure you lay them out the order they're going to be in so you don't get messed up and you know have them in the wrong spot and have to you know drill them out and move them over and stuff. Lay everything out where it's supposed to be. Make sure they're in the right order. Count them. They're there's a specific number of them in a certain order. So make sure you know which one is which. And you will see me later on in this video. Um, I go to deburr some holes that are supposed to be in one of them. And I'm like, what just happened? And then, you know, cause you could see me kind of count as I was going. 
And I'm like, I'm off by one. And because they were lined up in order and I knew where I was in my count, I was able to find the issue and fix it really quickly. So just as a extra little tip, make sure you lay the things out the way they're supposed to go um, and try to keep them in that order when you're doing them. And I do that also when I'm priming them and sanding them down so that I don't get them out of order or messed up in any way. So I know exactly where they're supposed to go when I go to put them in. <clears throat> and then this is just attaching the, the flap hinges to the ribs. The, there's two ribs that get the flap hinges attached and there's the aileron hinges actually get attached to the rear spar of the wing. So just FYI there. <clears throat> and then now I'm working on um, the control arm bracket that fits on that very first rib uh, and putting it together. I had had it cut out and ready to go for a while, but I hadn't gotten to the right wing. It took me a while to get there, but I eventually got there. And so now I'm working on that. Okay, and the right wing is a little bit different, so they only show you the left wing. And so this, let me show you. So this is the opposite side. So it's this way instead of this way in my instruction book, but I don't even know if you guys can see that. So. So it's the opposite side, right, for that guy. And that means this guy isn't like that. He's actually like this, right in here. Just like that, which would make him a mirror image of the one that's on the left wing. So if you look, right, these guys should be mirror images to each other. So left wing, right wing, and that looks about perfect if you ask me. So that's what we're going with, is it should look like that. So when I started the wings, I was like, okay, I'm just going to do the left wing and I'll, I'll put all the stuff for the right wing kind of away. And then I'll go back and do the right wing. And that's kind of what I've been doing. If I had to do it over again, I would not do that. I would do, I would work on both of them at the same time um, because they are exact mirror images of each other. And I spent a bunch of time that is not recorded here, looking at the instructions for the left wing and then saying, okay, now I have to you know, do the mirror image and reverse it all in my head and figure out, okay, which one is what and what, it, you know, what way do these face? So when you're doing it on one of them, if you just flip them over for the second one, I, I think it would be a little bit easier. That's my own personal opinion there. Um, but if I had to do it over, I think I would work on them both at the same time. And just for your information, I am working on both the left and right fuel tank at the same time. Um, and so far it's been pretty easy. So I'll keep you updated on that. Okay, I did want to show you, because one of the instructions was to put these, um, the wire protector things, the little shields that protect your wires. Um, but you had to drill holes and it had some measurements on page, what was it, 14-04, it had some measurements. And what I did is I built a template. I don't know if you could see that. But basically the template, if you look at the right one, because I have templates. If you put this end on there, and line it up with the edge and then this end lines up with that edge there's your two holes for your pilot holes to drill to get these bigger so make yourself a template it's it's really easy let's see i made a mistake and i just turned it over um, it's really easy to fix this it is not so easy to fix this so get yourself some cardboard um what do they call it paper stock 
or a card stock. Um, make yourself a template, measure it all out where it's supposed to be, and then use it as your guide for marking stuff. Makes it a lot easier. So there's my tip for you. As always, like and subscribe. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye.